Hello everybody and welcome back to Blended Miniatures. I am your host Tim and today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite Blended Miniatures, the Spell Jammer. This is a Lamprey uh, Spell Jammer vessel, a small, uh, basically a destroyer. Uh, a little bit big. I'm having to do it this way because the area where I would normally film it isn't uh, large enough to uh, accommodate the uh, the size of this thing. But as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, it's actually designed to uh, to hold uh, miniatures for uh, combat. We used it um, as the um, the central piece in the finale of the beginning where. The party used it to battle against the Tarasks. This was their uh, main mode of transport after dealing with Atropus. They used it to fly through space to get to Atropus. Um, and then on the way back, um, had to use it to deal with the Tarasks. There's a lot of crazy crap that went on in the, in the campaign, as you might imagine. But um, those of you that are familiar with uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea will probably recognize... The main hull of this, it's actually the the Nautilus. Um, this was a version of the Nautilus that was done uh, for allowing you to get on the inside of it and uh, add wiring for lighting. So this allowed uh, a much better print and allowed for uh, me to uh, be able to, uh, to cut out the top section. Because as you see, it has the... Uh, the area sliced out. Essentially, the way that I built this was I uh, I printed it as normal uh, without the the engine section. Um, uh, that's actually really it, just without the the engine uh, fins and the propellers. I just left that section off, and then I, I took a saw, I took a hacksaw, and just sliced the top off it, um, and then uh, ripped out some of the interior bits, placed plastic card on the inside of it, uh, and then. Uh, green stuff around the edge uh, to cover up the uh, the roughness sections of it. Um, and then the fins to make it uh, like the solar sails uh, were from uh, Dark Elf boat, uh, space boats yeah. <laughs> um, that I, I found on uh, on Thingiverse. They're just the uh, the sail sections resized and re rescaled so I'm having a bit of difficulty getting keeping it in in frame but and then uh, of course uh, added the uh, the ballistas they were separate things I discovered on on Thingiverse it has the four ballistas uh, it has the nose cannon which was a, a part of the um, the primary design and then added these where are we these little cogs here uh, which were uh, cog coasters uh, that I also found on Thingiverse. I just rescaled them down. Uh, the eye sections, they're all from uh, the original Nautilus design. Um, and then on the inside here, to make it more uh, boat-worthy, because the, uh, the lamprey has its own uh, cargo hatch to get on the inside, because... If this was the actual lamprey vessel, this fin here wouldn't actually be there, and it'd have like a drop-down ramp for uh, uh, getting cargo in and out. And then there's the, this top hatch here uh, for egress in and out. So uh, that is another piece that I also found on Thingiverse. And I also added a little uh, ladder, which you can't. Hang on, let me get the light onto it. There you go. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's a little ladder just here to make it look like you can actually climb up it. And then, of course, uh, here, which you can't really see, uh, a couple of different bases from um, Warhammer Fantasy, square bases, to make it look like a set of stairs to go up to this um, uh, this ballista. But, you know, all in all, you know, for a basic build for something for you know to play in D&D... &D, uh, for scale-wise, let me just get the, uh, where is he? Yeah, rather than using the, uh, the kobold, let's actually use Aurora here. He's actually probably a better representation of the scale for this, this vessel. So you can fit, uh, most of your party in this, uh, pretty comfortably for, uh, the top sections of it. And then you can just use the map for the lower areas. 
Uh, and then, of course, as you can probably see with the bit I'm holding here, this is just a, um, uh, a, a cup for a frozen drink that I got for a McDonald's that I just cut the little sections out to mount it on. Uh, the idea being that if you are flying it in the game and you want to land over something, it actually fits the creatures underneath it and you don't have to worry about uh, knocking your models out of the way with the, the flying stand. So it's a basic solution, but it works quite well. Uh, in terms of paint, very, very simple on this one. The whole thing was just spray painted brown. Um, all the little little gem crystal things here, they were printed in transparent plastic and I glued them in later. Um, and then just did the, the silvery bits, the metal areas for the, uh, the ramming points, um, and then the yellow parts for the, uh, the solar sails, uh, of course, just painted them yellow. Didn't do any washing with this one because I wanted it to be more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, more natural looking, uh, with the wood and everything else. But, uh... I may end up going back to this one uh, at some stage and do some additional work on it in order to uh, to do the detail up. But for the time being, yeah, it it's one of my one of my favorite builds, um, showing that the the crew, uh, if they need a piece that they can use for uh, battling on the back of, uh, you know, it's um, simple but effective took quite a long time to print uh, as always i'll put the um uh the the links to all the components that i'm able to get access to because i'm not sure that i can get access to these fins anymore uh, i think uh, games workshop many uh came along and removed the uh the plans from thingiverse but if you're wanting to build your own um really simple you could very easily do this with actually um uh, plastic card and a little bit of green stuff if you if you really need to because they're a relatively simple design and being that they are um, sails they don't need to be overly overly smooth even if you have a, a friend who plays Dark Eldar or you play Dark Eldar yourself you may actually have some of these sail components laying around you could uh, use them for yourself I unfortunately didn't when I was building this one here but also as a special treat we're going to do a little uh, double uh, episode for today. Let me just put this guy over here. We also have uh, so as a if you're doing combat, this is a version of the Nautilus uh, that is uh, designed for putting in a, a ship in a bottle design. So I just printed this one up, uh, stuck the fins on it um, for the design, and the idea behind this one is so that if you're wanting to fight a clockwork space kraken in space you you have the the scale for it so you can actually see how how big this monster is compared to uh the uh the nautiloid or the nautilus i should say sorry in uh in scale for uh for a spell jammer battle so yeah there it is so Thank you all very much for watching Blended Miniatures. Be sure to like and subscribe, and rem remember to keep on blending.